And I found this file cabinet. First thing I did is I washed it all down. I pulled these drawers out and then you see the slides that they run on. Got rid of the other pieces that were in there. So they do still slide out, but as you can see it tips. When you drill your holes, um, what you're gonna do is make sure you're drilling from the inside of the box out, because what's gonna happen is as you push that drill through, it's gonna make little tabs that kinda poke out and you don't want those little metal pieces. So if you drill from the bottom up, inside where you're gonna have your food, you're gonna have these little metal spikes. Um, I made a different number of holes in each of the boxes. I have in here eight holes, 10 holes, and I think I put 20 of them in there. And what the eight holes is gonna go with one up from the bottom. And what this is gonna do is trap some of the heat on that bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna put this thermometer in here. And this is the first one, I'm just gonna put it in the top. I don't have a bit to screw this in. So what I'm gonna try to do is just use a screwdriver. So I wanna make sure I'm getting above this piece right here. I made these racks. I found some stoves that were being thrown away and I took the oven racks off. And I just propped this one side up, how far it needed to be to get here. And then I sawed off the two main ones. And then I just came through with a wire cutter. And then what I did is I took this pliers and I came in here and pulled it back. So I have a couple of these that are a little longer so that I can pull them in and out. And then the other one's just in. And that way I can remove this rack. And then push it back into place. And for the second rack, I was going to leave them a little bit longer. I didn't want to have any issues. So I've curved these ones back. So this one has got longer pieces here. I don't know if that'll work out nicer. And then I also angled a couple of these so that they would go down and actually fit right in there. And I drilled three holes next to each other and then I just twisted it through and broke it. And, I... and so then what I did next is I used a screwdriver and I actually just pounded that down with the hammer until I got through and I made one hole there and one in the other corner. There's already a hole in the front and it's gonna be coming through the sides as well and where the lock mechanism is, there is a huge hole. It was lined in plastic, so I pounded that out. I had put a magnet over the top of that so it's not just pouring out of that one spot. Okay, so I'm gonna do the first burn. Okay, so what I've done, just so I can get this paint off, I've actually loaded all the drawers. See if I can get this heated up and get that paint bubble, bubbled off. So you can see it getting hot here. The second drawer. Is on fire now. So the top drawer wasn't burning and then I pulled it out just boom instantly because it was all dried out. So the fire's starting to die down in there. My thermometer is over 600 degrees so it got it was super hot. And then here's one of the things you can see is the difference between the drawers. So after I've heated this up, if I just wet this down So I've been so you can see the difference there. So I'm washing this, but I don't want that in in the food when I smoke it. So I'm gonna clean these all up. And when they're done, just look at that one right there. So I filled this with willows. I'm gonna do one final burn. Okay, so I'm seasoning that smoker right now. So I got it all done now. It took me forever. So I just smoked a batch here and it turned out really good. The pieces are nice and dry on the outside so I can stack them next to each other. They're moist on the middle. So what I did is because there's a lot of depth and I was kind of running out of space, I decided I'd uh, cut my fillets in half and then I ran a little line through them so I could fold them down. And as you can see, they're draped down and they're hanging in. So, and those are really nice pieces on the outside. These are perfect. 